Hi, this is Melissa Claire Egan. I play the fun, yet sometimes unpredictable, sometimes crazy character Annie Lavery on ABC's All My Children. It has been quite a roller coaster to get here. This is my road. I grew up in Westchester County in Pound Ridge, New York, which is about an hour north of Manhattan. When I started really being into the arts and singing and dancing, growing up taking classes, I begged my mom to get me an agent. And she was like, sure, we'll get on that. And never did, because she just thought, oh, this is a crazy business. So finally, by like sixth or seventh grade, I was just begging her. I was like, I want to audition. I don't want to be a child actor, but I want this as a hobby. So my mom finally let me go in, and I got a modeling agent and a manager. My first commercial audition was for this product called Surprise Shampoo. I don't know if it's still even around. I don't know if it ever even was in stores. I had to say some ridiculous things like, Super clean hair with no ouches. <laughs> like, what? And then what was the other one? I love my mom's shampoo. Not. I love my mom's shampoo. Not. <laughs> like something absurd. Surprise Shampoo for kids. It was fun. It was a good way to start the career and get the tape going. And that was my first commercial. My first full production was in sixth grade, and I did Annie, and I was Molly and understudy Annie. So being on stage just made me feel so excited and alive, and I just felt on fire. I just loved it. So it was the first thing that made me really realize when I was younger, oh my God, I really want to do this forever. I could do this every day. I did Grease my junior year, which was so exciting because every high schooler wants to do Grease. I played the role of Rizzo, which was very fun because everybody wants to play, you know, the mean villain. You don't shut up, you're gonna get enough to stand. Which I guess I'm still doing now on All My Children. <laughs> so who knew, like, you know, 12 years later. My senior year of high school, I did Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor the Dream Coat, which I just love. Such a great show, and I was the narrator. Joseph was the first show that I had to sing consistently through it. And I'd always been an actor and a dancer growing up. I took a lot of dance, but I hadn't taken a lot of vocal stuff. So Joseph was the first time I had a real challenge with, oh my gosh, I have to get my act together for this show. So after high school, I went to University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill as a drama major. I did all straight plays. I did a couple little things on Dawson's Creek, which made my college roommates think I was cool. <laughs> it was like two lines here, two lines there. But that was cool, just to see how things work for primetime television. I was on One Tree Hill, which I love. It's a great show. By that point, I knew I really wanted to try to be a, a working actress. It was just my dream, and it had been my dream for so long, and I knew it's what I wanted to do. You want the poor man to have another heart attack? You know what, if that's what you want, Scott, by all means, march up there and tell your uncle. Tell me what. And that brings me to uh, All My Children. <laughs> I actually auditioned on tape because I was in Los Angeles at the time. I went to the ABC studios in Burbank. I still remember the day. I remember looking out the window at the ABC building with all the seven dwarfs, and I was sitting there just looking, and I was like, oh, I really hope I get this job. And then they called me about a week later and said, it's down to seven or eight girls who want you to screen test in New York. I was like, great, sign me up. So they flew me to New York, and I remember I stayed at the Time Hotel in Times Square. And you know, New York's is such a great city, and you feel so alive, vibrant, you're on Broadway, and it's just great. I got up that morning, and I came to my screen test, which was with Cameron Matheson, who's one of my best buds. And I just kind of took a deep breath and said, you can do this, you're gonna be fine, you've done this for years, just stay cool and calm and confident, and went in there for the screen test over at the studios on The View. And I remember leaving being like, I feel like I did a good job. I don't know, I'm not being cocky or overconfident at all. And I was at my parents' house, and the phone rang, and I remember I jumped up to Get it, and it was my agent and my manager, and they're like, You got it. And I was like, Woo! And I screamed and I jumped around with my mom. It was like something out of like a cheesy 80s movie of like girls dancing around. <laughs> but it was a really special moment. Being Annie and all my children this past few years has been such an incredible experience. What it's given me, the people I've met, being able to play someone who's crazy or someone who's nice or someone who's a mom or someone who's manipulative. I'm gonna see you really soon, okay, my sweetheart? I mean, it's just been a dream come true and I feel so lucky and so blessed to have been here. So I'm very thankful for where I've been and I'm also really excited of where I'm gonna go. Oh, go, go.